one more biscuit as well. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Good afternoon Hi. and welcome to our six to seven focus on six seven. imagination. Imagination. Actually, imagination. you know what we can ask the students? Please enlighten so, me. So Alex and I discovered that I just graduated and now uh -huh. there's a lot of stress in me on what to do with my future. So imagination. <laughs> what should what can Zaha do with her life? She exactly. has just graduated. Congratulations, in, Zaha. Thank you. In political sciences. So in case every anyone Oh, well, how exactly. <laughs> hey, Emanuela, how are you? How are you? Exactly. How are you? That's the most important question. We're good. Uh, we're fine. We're fine. We're so. My name's Alex. Oh, there you go. Thank you. You've got congratulations already, Emanuela. You know this before. Hello, Luca. Birthday. Again. Hello, Luca. Hi, hi, Luca. Um. So. Saha wants some advice, everyone. Please. What should Saha do with her life? She has just graduated in <laughs> political sciences. In this moment. Exactly. In this moment, she checked. So congratulations to Saha. Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. Two years of tears. <laughs> exactly. But now, what should she do? Should she study? Should she look for a job? Should she change her tour. life completely and go Can on a she, tour yeah go to another country very good thank nice you. Luca. very good, good Luca. Uh, sentence structure thank you <laughs> as well yeah exactly fantastic yeah. so what should she do mm. um what do you want to do though saha what's your final goal my final goal is to die peacefully oh my so, god <laughs> so i can't do politics because politics okay, yeah. really don't die peaceful peacefully no you know you don't want to end up like jfk <laughs> no <laughs> no of course not um you i but are you happy with your graduation now do you think that it's enough or do you think that you need to study more damn just give me one second to enjoy this alex <laughs> that's the real question I'm kidding. um no, i, no, I only have a bachelor's for example yeah oh but what in what what do languages. you languages like well i mean maybe it's just like it's well compact and you don't need to continue but with political sciences you can't stop <laughs> so you need to continue to study to continue to study okay but what? i think that now i have this energy in me that i said i manage this i will mm -hmm. start studying arabic nice arabic. yeah i would recommend you study if you do study something in the future make sure that you have a business component in it mm -hmm. um, lots of just anything to do with business. So it could be like HR, like you said, or oh, Lucas says, I think Saha <laughs> should find a job. I already have a job. She is a teacher, you can see. Yeah. Gianluca Thank as well, you, congratulations. Gianluca. Yeah, yesterday he asked me like, when are you graduating? I was like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> or Luca as well, or she should have a webinar on YouTube. <laughs> Good, good suggestion. Thank you, thank um, you, yes. Again, my recommendation to you, if you do study, continue, have a business element somewhere. So it could be HR, it could be management, yeah. it could be anything, because um, com companies usually look for something to do with business. Exactly, so I have to study Arabic and, I'm sorry, uh, no. Some right. kind of business element, business it could be Arabic. anything not necessarily but it it could be maybe international relations again tied with business 
-hmm. the important thing it has business, business in the module yeah i have to be smart in this if i if i could change one thing i would do that i think yeah so yeah. like business english business i language. would have just yeah i would have studied maybe with a business um, module in my in my bachelor's degree yeah. and because yeah. i was very specialized with translating and oh. interpreting nice okay well thank you for your comments thank you but thank now we have another much. question yeah what was the question actually about imagination? <laughs> so if we're talking about imagination, I think a lot of people are cooking at the mm -hmm. moment or, well, at the moment <laughs> it's 1 p.m. So okay. that, and even like in this period in general. So mm -hmm. can you tell me what we can do with uh, an aubergine? <laughs> what can you The do first with... thing that comes to your mind when I say aubergine, eggplant. Exactly. <laughs> I know what comes to my mind immediately. What can you do with an aubergine or an eggplant? Oh, I think I have one in the fridge. I'm going to get it. Get an aubergine? Oh, I love them. They're my favorite vegetable. And it's uh, something that if you remembered the previous lesson uh, we had together. Yeah, exactly, like Sicilian food. Oh, look at that beauty. Could it be there more? There we go. Beauty? That's a nice aubergine or eggplant. Yeah, it's very nice. Are you gonna cook it? Probably. We're very good at making like little um, mini pizzas. So you slice them Ooh. with this. And then you get some breadcrumbs on it in some egg. Mm, and then you put a little bit of tomato sauce with whatever herbs and spices you want. Uh -huh. And some mozzarella on top. And then you put it all oh, in the oven. It comes out nice. That's a nice vegetarian pizza. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So exactly. Nice. Yes, Luca, pasta la norma. I, I'm very good with pasta la norma. I tasted it once in um not palermo in i don't remember in sicily anyway nice and, so good luca pasta la norma is a great one emanuela also suggested parmigiana. and parmigiana is oh, very my good God. how do you say it in a, in american parmesan parmesan parmesan, parmesan. <laughs> 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 exactly. Okay, fantastic. So nice. we have some ideas with what we can do with an aubergine or an eggplant. Good, Emanuela. Yes, good. It's very natural to write. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so today we are talking about dun -da -da -dun, mm -hmm. imagination. Are you a creative person? Let's find out. Let's find out. <laughs> it's like a quiz. Uh, exactly. A quiz. Are you a creative person? What's your <laughs> favorite you type of cheese? Uh, <laughs> in this focus activity, talking about creativity and imagination, phrasal verbs, idioms. Alex, do you consider yourself a creative person? So so. <laughs> No, <laughs> I didn't understand. <laughs> what do you think, guys? Is Alex creative? <laughs> so, so, no, yes. Relatively. Mm. Relatively creative. Relatively creative. Relatively. But it's okay anyway. We, we but, like that anyway. But we're going to discover he is Irina. Mm. <laughs> You have a she fan. Says, Thank you. <laughs> I hope so. We have this question to test your creative. Oh, Luca as well. Thank you, Luca. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have this to test your creativity. Saha, can you read that? Yes. Can you come up with five ways to use a stapler except for stapling? Exactly. So a stapler is, is this object, the object that you can see on the screen. 
we usually use it to put some paper together in like mm -hmm. a folder thing. Exactly. But you can think of different ways as well. So for example, I'm going to think of different ways that I can use a water bottle. Yes. So you can obviously use it for water, which is its intended purpose. You yeah. have a nice water oil. bottle. Or oil, exactly. But this is all very normal. It's just cooking, right? Mm -hmm. You could use this to, in front of your camera or something, it's green, you can see that, mm -hmm. and make a filter out of it. Yeah. You can look at the world in, and everything is green. You could <laughs> even look at it like this and it becomes like a telescope. He's so creative, guys. For a pirate. Or okay. if, if, oh, like, nice, Emanuela, yes, for a message, message in a bottle. Yeah, for a rolling pin. Yes, exactly. So if you have some, you need to make a pizza, you use this exactly mm -hmm. as a rolling pin. Good, Luca, it could be a paperweight or a bookend for the stapler. Really good. Yeah. Exactly. What else? What else could we use use a bottle or a stapler for? Hit someone. <laughs> yes, you could. Help. You could definitely hit someone with this. Yeah. Why not? Only for defense, though. I'm not. <laughs> You're not aggressive. <laughs> I'm not an aggressive person. Um, you could also use this. You can what use this for music. Use? You could. Let's let's listen to it. I think you need to like have less water to have like. Yeah. yeah. You can make it. You cannot. You can do it like this, can't you? Exactly. Exactly. That's that's a nice sound too. You have lots of different bottles with different amounts of water, different sounds. <laughs> um, so we have also Johnny for hiding secret candy in the classroom. That's my brother. <laughs> I imagine you have the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> nice to meet you. Very nice. Yeah, you can um, hide secret candy in the classroom. You're right. Um, the stapler or the bottle? I imagine that maybe the stapler. You you know, like those Pez dis dispensers? Like actually hiding the candy inside maybe, the thingy with... Maybe in the bottle as well. I don't know. Oh, okay. Nice. Lucas says if it is a bottle of wine, I could drink it. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Exactly. I have to go get myself a bottle of wine for tonight. I know, you do, oh, you do. Celebrate. <laughs> uh, so, my brother was thinking about the stapler. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a good one. Um, um, I'm trying to think of anything else. For, for a stapler, you could pretend it's like a crocodile for a child. <laughs> It's quite dangerous. Maybe remove the staples. Exactly. And then, and like then play. Child. Exactly. <laughs> or even a, a phone. If you mm -hmm. open it, it becomes mm -hmm. like a, one of those old Nokia phones. Exactly. Or you can use or, it as a hammer. As a hammer. Mm -hmm. So many different things. Let's have a look at the different imagination things. Saha, could you read those? Mm -hmm. As a doorstop. As a paperweight, as a weapon, as a bookend, as a nutcracker, as a fake telephone to play with wow. a child, as a hammer <laughs> to scrape ice off your car. Like the last oh one always like, gets me like, how do you scrape ice with a stapler? Honestly, I don't know. I think you would damage your car, <laughs> <laughs> personally. But, exactly, but maybe. same. My Brother had one more suggestion, which I can't click on for some reason. Record the sound for using it in music or for sound. <laughs> exactly. Engineering. Why can't I click on it? I don't know. Well, Alex disappeared now. Oh, okay, okay. Here, oh my for God. One second I was like, oh no, I'm alone. <laughs> yeah, no, the stream went, went haywire. Yeah, you could use that, definitely. Emmanuel and Luca both say that the last one is not a good idea. Yeah, I agree with you too, Emanuela and Luca. Yeah. These are not good ideas. 
And then not oh I like the idea of a nut to to use it as a nutcracker. Yeah, I, I think it would kind of go in every <laughs> every single direction. Exactly. Maybe. You have to do it like in a protected area. Maybe. Why not? Why not? Mm -hmm. Very good. So let's get creative. Let's read about JK Rowling. Oh my god. Is, Is that how you pronounce it? Is J.K. Rowling and not Rowling? I would say Rowling. Rowling. I've been pronouncing it wrong all my life. <laughs> Let's find out how to pronounce J.K. <laughs> Rowling. Let's hear it. Oh, I don't think we can. I'll find it. In the, in the meantime, Zaha, <laughs> can you continue reading? Yeah, okay. So read the text and find seven new words or phrases about imagination. So you guys, while I'm reading, you can look for the, uh, the new words that, we're, uh, that are related to imagination. So only very imaginative people can create children's books. And if you think uh -huh. about it, the world would be very different if JK Rowling or Rowling had not dreamt up the world of Harry Potter. She was daydreaming on a train when she first came up with the idea of the Hogwarts Express. The first thing she did was write down all her ideas and then she brainstormed some more. She thought of keeping the stories for her daughter, but seven years later, Harry Potter was in bookshops all around the world. Perfect. Very good, Saha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Apparently, so, yeah. I just watched a few different videos for um, the pronunciation, and it should be like you said, rolling. Rolling. But okay. she answers to both at the moment because no one knows how to pronounce. Oh, okay. It's so like I, I, when you see my name. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I answer to everything. Exactly. Oh, so interesting. Rolling, mm -hmm. I think, is the correct one. I think. I think. But by Good anyway, she, I discovered that she actually had the first ideas for mm -hmm. Harry Potter when she was living in Portugal. Oh, and, really? Yeah, she visited the Sintra Palace mm -hmm. in, um, it's near Lisbon. It's not in Lisbon, actually. And yeah, like I've been there and it's amazing. So like yes. they always tell, uh, when I went there, the tour guide told us because she's married to, she was married to a Portuguese guy, man. Oh, this I didn't know. Yeah. I saw that she started writing them when she was on the train. Yeah, I don't know, maybe the we'll tour see. guide lied. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> maybe Who like knows? Harry Potter. Yeah, do you like Harry Potter? I love Harry Potter. Yeah, I don't I know. know how many times I've read the the books. <laughs> and um, also listen to the audiobooks. Uh, I've listened to at least one or two or three, maybe even oh, a few audiobooks in Italian because so I've I've read the books in English, I don't know how many times. So mm -hmm. many times. I've read them the first book once. Mm -hmm in Italian once a little in French, so maybe the first few chapters. Wow. And then another time in Spanish, but I hated it in Spanish. Why? Um, it doesn't match up well to, to the English. I, I don't know. I don't, it doesn't have the same... I don't like translated books either. The Italian one was fantastic. Yeah. Well, don't Italian get me wrong. good with translation in general. The, the Spanish one, it didn't have the same feeling. I, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, Luca. <laughs> yes, because it's every Monday night. <laughs> I miss exactly. Yeah. The Harry yeah. Potter chair is in the Lelo Library in Portugal. Let me check. Lelo. Fascinating. In Fascinating. Porto? Yeah. Oh, it's in... Porto, not even Lisbon. Oh my God, yes. Go look look at it, Alex. You'll just fall in love. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That one's a beautiful I didn't one. know about this one. I went to Porco. Damn it. I missed That's it. That's a beautiful place. Mm -hmm. So in this text, we have seven different words or phrases to do Definitely. with yeah. imagination loosely. Mm -hmm. uh, Manuela says that she saw it five years ago and it was very beautiful. Careful with go. So I saw it five years ago. Oh, ago. Good job, Emanuela, though. Very good. I saw it five years ago. So what are the words or phrases with imagination? Hmm. Mm -hmm. We have create. What else, Sahar? Create and this one is a verb actually, mm -hmm. and it's uh, think about. Nice. Mm -hmm. Then I think we also one. have dreamt up. Yeah. So remember that the um, past of dream is a little irregular. So I dreamt, dreamed. Do Americans say dreamed? I don't, I always say dreamt. Nice. But I think so, yeah, they also say dreamed. I dreamed of. Nice, Emanuela, daydreaming. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good, Emanuela. What's the next one after that? I think we have another phrasal verb. Yeah, we do have another phrasal verb, and it's in the past. Mm -hmm. Even though Luca, yes. Nice Luca, yeah. So we have came up with as well. Exactly. Um, we do have brainstormed, which is fantastic, Luca. Yeah. Great. The other one is very similar to think about. Yeah, very, very similar. Great job, Emanuela, too. Very, very good. Mm, it should just be this one, right? Sort of. Mm -hmm. And that's it. And that's yeah. all of them. Wait a sec. One, yeah. two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven. Yeah, it's, all of them. <laughs> it's a bit strange. <laughs> <laughs> it was not like, yeah. Fantastic. So these are the seven new, well, new seven words or phrases about imagination. Some of them might be new. So let's try and give them some context to understand what they mean. So we've got the same vocabulary again. Could you read the vocabulary? Yes. Uh -huh. So dreams up, think about, daydreaming, come up with, brainstorm, thought of, and created. Fantastic. Good. So, in this case, you're also very lucky because you already have the words in their actual form. So, for example, dreams yeah. up, third person. Yeah, exactly. Third so person, hard. present simple. Yeah. Past simple, created, past simple. So, it exactly. should be doable. So, let's see. What, what should be number one? How did you mm, the idea of painting the walls in different colors. Mm -hmm. My walls, like your walls, are, are white. White? <laughs> yeah. It's so actually very fun painting walls. I painted yeah. my walls in Verona. Loved it. Let's see. Ooh, we have Luca come, come up, up with. with. Also, Viv. Mm -hmm. Viv. -viv. <laughs> Maybe Viviana. I don't know. Viv. Um, come up with. Irina says, think about. And uh, Emanuela says, also, come, also up with. come up with. Wait. Exactly. And the Let's correct answer look. is. Drum roll. Come Way. up with. Uh, exactly. Come up with. Fantastic. Um, how did you think about. Mm, how did you think about tonight? Hmm. It just doesn't sound good. I'm trying to think. Like, think about is just in general. So, 
if I'm thinking, I'm using it now, think about holidays. Mm -hmm. I'm just thinking about it in general. If I come up with, it's the first time you think of an idea. Exactly. So it's a new idea, mm -hmm. um, some you inspiration. Yeah, you like kind of create the idea in your head. Well, exactly. think about is that like you take something into consideration that already exists. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Thank you. Um, we <laughs> we also have, I think, for the second one, think about and think about. Yeah. Let's see. Do you think that's true? Uh, kind yes, of. Yes, it yeah. is. <laughs> Sahar, Very could good. you read that, please? <clears throat> Think about your favorite film. Why is it so special to you? Exactly. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. I just realized that Edina, <laughs> Edina is actually, I imagine it's my brother's fiance on maybe her sister's account. Oh, or maybe really? it is my brother's fiance's sister. I'm not sure. Oh, really? <laughs> so we've got, yeah, two viewers from Japan at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> That's so sweet. Maybe it is Marina or maybe it is her sister. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. I can't get um, my parents to watch this. <laughs> they, they started a series, they prefer that. <laughs> hello, hello. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, you can join in. I can say that you coming to the web stream is a surprise. In, ja in Japan, yes. in Japanese, um, the way that they, this is what Marina taught me when we visited in Japan. The way that they say surprise is surprise. Oh, uh, so it's the accent? That's literally the word. That's how they oh, say that's it. The word. <laughs> surprise. There it oh, is. And it's written like that. <laughs> surprise. Oh, surprise. Okay. It Thank you. Portuguese. Thank you, Marina. I don't know why. <laughs> it's very cool. I think they use it in, uh, yeah, like, surprise. <laughs> surprise. <laughs> they, <laughs> thank you. It's going to become a Japanese lesson. Exactly. Now. <laughs> I was going to say. You guys look alike. Yeah, I get it. Uh, a little. We, we agree to disagree, I think, with uh, usually. <laughs> so, Emanuela, you said for number three, we have. Before Picasso, no one ever created painting the way he did. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I'm uh, not sure. Oh, oh, sorry. No, please, uh, go. Never mind. No, no. Well, it's it's correct that it's in the past. <laughs> created painting. I would probably say like painting. Mm -hmm. No one ever painted painting the way he did, but that doesn't make any sense. No. Not not created, not created. Yeah. Maybe Viv has the right idea. Very good. I, I gave it away, kind of. <laughs> Very good, Emanuela, don't worry. Mm -hmm. No one ever dreams up. So dreams up is in the present simple at the moment, right? So mm -hmm. dreams up. But we would need um, a pass. So no exactly. one ever dreamed up painting the way he did. Mm -hmm. It's a bit strange. I think it's okay, but um, you need it in the past. So thought of is the correct answer. Good what job, Viv. Good job, Emanuela. Like contemplating. Which one? Sorry, thought of. Thought of. Yeah, exactly. Contemplate, think about. It's it, they're very similar. They're very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Very very similar. Can you do number four now? So how can you read rolling. <laughs> <laughs> or rolling? I, I have no idea at this point. JK rolling and I don't have any answers here. No, mm, a world of magic. So it's like this Disneyland. Is... Well, I would say that this should be in the past. Because she did it. Yes. That's it. Yes, I imagine. And I imagine so. Good. Good job, Luca. Good job, Viv. Creative. Fantastic. Fantastic. 
<laughs> so she created a world of magic, a wonderful world of magic. Number five, before writing an essay, you should always mmm ideas. Yes. Alex, are you good at writing essays? Um, I imagine I'm better at writing them now that I'm not at university. <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, I know that in my a level so when I was at secondary school um, I didn't understand essay writing like I didn't understand the point of basically repeating what other people have said um, <laughs> but I think I understand it better now obviously we teach um, essay writing exactly. for IELTS and Cambridge writing etc so now I think I've got a much much better idea I must say that since I've started Good teaching, job. my <laughs> writing essays has improved tremendously. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Very good job, everyone, in the meantime. Mm -hmm. It is brainstorm. Yeah, you so brainstorm ideas, very important. What is brainstorm? Sounds strange, like a storm with your brain. I feel as though you love brainstorming. Yeah, we love brainstorming. Teachers love brainstorming. So we start thinking of lots of different ideas related to maybe one central idea. Yes, exactly. Okay. So, so if I say the word kitchen, then you can start saying oven, microwave, kettle. You start thinking of all of the different ideas related to something. Biscuits. Biscuit, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I think we have... Yeah, the next answer for six, very good. So I did not pay much attention in class and spent a lot of time, yes, daydreaming. Fantastic. So <laughs> daydreaming, looking out the window, not thinking of anything. Uh, actually, relaxing. you think of other things. <laughs> yeah, true. When you're daydreaming. Holidays, maybe. Yeah. The summer, eating. The weather. Exactly. What, what, where would you be if you could go out? Yeah. <laughs> well, good job, Katharina. Yes, dreams up. Very well, good, Emmanuel, as well. Difficult, guys. Yeah, always the most difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so do not listen to John. He always dreams up crazy theories about people. Um, this is very similar to come up with. Very, yeah. very similar. Um, very, very similar. I don't know if there would be a big difference. Come up with is perhaps a little bit more inspirational. So mm -hmm. um, I come up with a fantastic idea to do something. But dream up is a little usually crazy creative. Yeah. But they're very, 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 very similar. Very good. Uh, I, exactly. Very similar. OK. So we have our word brainstorm right here. Thank Zaha, you. can you read? In pairs, brainstorm ways to increase creativity and imagination. Yeah. yeah. So, we can how really can we become creative. more creative? Can you write that down for us? Definitely. If you have any become... ideas on how to be more creative, how to use your imagination better. Exactly. How can we become more creative? How do you become more creative, Saha? In your um, infinite wisdom. Yes, I do a lot of puzzles. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, I think a lot. Mm. Yes, it's like so my yoga. What kind of puzzles? Like Sudoku oh, puzzles, puzzles or like puzzle the, puzzles? The pieces with puzzles. Mm. If Gianluca is still watching, he knows what I mean. We talked about it yesterday a lot <laughs> with uh, Sophia. And. Mm. Uh, what else do I do? I read books. Mm -hmm. uh, usually thrillers. So like I have a lot of good ideas about detective kind of ideas, like how to find a murderer. Yeah. <laughs> hmm, that's a creative way of becoming a murderer, I guess. Uh-oh, I meant detective. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Alex? Or a detective. Um, I like to have a lot of, um, I was reflecting on this yesterday and sometimes I do some very Zen-like activities, things that don't require a lot of um, mental thought power. 
so that my mind empties a little. So I'm very focused on a very basic task and I don't have to worry too much. Like for example, I find cutting vegetables and things like that in the kitchen, very, very calming and relaxing. Mm -hmm. And it allows you to become a little, your, your brain is a little emptier, a little bit more relaxed. You're opening your chakras through cutting vegetables. Probably. <laughs> and I also like, um, if I think of something, this is something that I try and do now more, is um, I run with it. So if I think of something, then I try and do it because it usually ends up with some kind of creative aspect because you are forced to do something. So for example, if I think, um, let, I, this is something that I've never done, but let's say for example, I say, okay, I need to get to the other room, but Go to the other room? With, with only like two steps on the floor. Mm -hmm. So you have to immediately think of different ways to solve the solution. Solve the, nice. the puzzle. That is not an example that I would do. Um, but, but you know, mm -hmm. try and force yourself into limits. Limitations usually create um, creativity. They do. they do. Like, for example, in Iranian cinema, mm -hmm. uh, we have a lot of censorship. There are mm -hmm. a lot of things that you cannot do in the movies as an actor. You can't kiss, even if mm. you're a couple. You can't touch the other sex if, you, oh, wow. if you're a couple, yes. So imagine you're acting up like uh -huh. you're in a relationship, but you can't show it. Oh, yeah. you have to be creative. You have to be very creative, and that's yeah. why funny movies are the best. <laughs> <laughs> like in photography as well. If you only have one lens, mm -hmm. but you need to do something, very specific you have to become creative with um, with the lens and what you have so yeah. Casadina says she reads and she plays the piano nice that's good saha using a thing in different ways like we did with the stapler nice. exactly very good mm -hmm. also painting is a way to become more creative very nice too yeah painting and this one reading books painting and cooking i think also hmm. cooking, yeah. Like now that I'm experimenting. Yeah, because you start experimenting, you become more confident in the kitchen and say, okay, exactly. What can I use to make the make this a little bit thicker, a little bit sweeter? Exactly. exactly. What happens if I add this spice? Yeah, yeah. these are all what good things. I so. don't add salt, which is always my <laughs> thing. <laughs> So we have these suggestions. So, Saha, can you read the first three? Spend time with children, listen to music, read. And we also have take risks, improvise, um, try something new every day. That one's difficult, I think. Oh my God, <gasps> oh my God me too. It's Really? Yeah, I because my friend is po my friend, uh, my ex, she's also my friend, uh, is Polish and uh -huh. she would always make these spinach pancakes. And I did it also the other day. Oh my god, this is so strange. You're on the same wavelength, oh my god, with the fosters, with both of you, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Maybe we have some shared ancestors going back. I wouldn't be surprised on my Spanish side. <laughs> In Andalusia. Wait, you're from the south of Spain? My grandma is. Oh my god. So, so cool. she she definitely has some kind of Arab blood in her. Definitely. Oh yeah. For sure, for sure. We're all related in a way. Yeah, I, I think we are. But so, spending time with children, I want to yes. go on that. Yes. They're very creative. They obviously have a lot of limitations. Um, with what they can do. For example, a child needs to imagine an entirely new world when playing, mm -hmm. right? They're thinking of all of these things. And yeah. they do things in different ways because 
with adults, we are taught how to do something in a specific way. And we repeat it for years and years and years. Exactly. And then a child comes. And they are never done it. Blank. Exactly. They don't know what to do. So they invent, they create. Yeah. You know what I did with my imagination when I was a child? What? I had the goldfish. And uh -huh. it, of course, the goldfish was in a little like aquarium thingy. Uh -huh. And I always thought that the fish was drowning. So I tried to save it. And no. I tried it with uh, uh. Like cough. And it broke. Oh, dear. In oh. half. Oops. Oops. No, I'm not proud of it, but it's just like. Well, you learn. <laughs> you learn from it. You know, nice. Spending time with child Sahar. <laughs> and Manuela. Well, that's that's good. Nice. Yeah, very, very good. Today. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to cook today. We'll see. I have we'll some see. leftovers from yesterday. I made, oh, I made tortilla yesterday. Tortilla. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. I think it's always a good idea to open your fridge and be inspired, just like my brother, by mm -hmm. whatever is in the fridge. Um, try and see what you can create. It doesn't have to be a specific dish. It has to taste good. So try. Imagine try. you're in Master Chef. Exactly. <laughs> mm -hmm. So we have enough time now to talk about some common idioms. What I want you to do is to match them up first. So we've got one section of the phrase and the other section of the phrase. So he has his head in, mm, what? In the cat? I don't think so. I hope not. I really hope not. <laughs> so. <laughs> Oh, we've got a fantastic answer from Katharina about this. So how could you read that? Yes. Watching films is another way uh, to become more creative because it is like a daydream. Because it's like, a, or, or because it's like daydreaming without A. Uh, you can create and view in your mind some images. Yes. When yes, I watch movies, I'm very like concentrated, okay, on the plot but also on how the director moves, how the Definitely. image move. Yeah, it's very important as well. You're right. Mm -hmm. You're really right about that. Um, so, yeah, nice, Viv. In? Exactly. <laughs> Not in the box. <laughs> so with, the, with these idioms, they're very, very common. So we know what it is immediately. So it is like you said, Viv, Head in the clouds. Very good, Luca. Good job, Katarina. Again, you can play, you can change these idioms. For example, if someone said he has his head in a box, then I would imagine that he is not very creative because he is yeah. in a box. It's like a combination of two common idioms. Mm -hmm. So yeah, he has his head in the clouds. Yes, it is common. <laughs> it's common. Italy too. <laughs> Very lucky. How about, so number two as well, we already have them. Katrina, very good. And Manuela, very good. Mm -hmm. Curiosity killed the cat. It means good. it's curious. In I think we have the meanings in the next next slide, I think. Oh, yeah. in, in Iranian, what do you have? We say that curious people go to hell. <laughs> oh my God, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Luca. So number three as well, think outside. Yes, the box. Mm -hmm. The box. Very the good. The box. Lovely. And then my, my mind, mind went, went It's the same word that I use describing children. Very good. Very yeah. good, Emanuela. Yeah, my mind went blank. Good job, Luca. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Very good, Katarina too. Great, Marina. I had a lot. Oh, that, that is my brother's fiance this time. Oh, so maybe okay. Her, her sister was tuning in as well. 
<laughs> everyone, everyone is. Okay, five, I had a light bulb moment. Fantastic yeah. job. Ding, just like in the cartoons. <laughs> and a penny for your thoughts. Very good. Ooh, that's a nice idiom, I love it. Yeah, penny for your thoughts. Penny for your thoughts? So, let's have a look at what they mean. Saha, can you read number one? Indeed, yes. He has bad results in school because he always has his head in the clouds. Yeah, what does that mean? Is it A, Is D, it... D, E, or F? Exactly. I'll continue with number two. You shouldn't ask so many questions. Curiosity killed the cat. Of course. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. To solve this problem, we need to think outside the box. Very good. Number four as well. My mind went blank as soon as I sat down for this exam. What a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> uh, MacGyver. 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 Uh -huh. Is he Scottish or Irish? I think he's American. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I think. Never I'm mind. not sure. MacGyver had a light bulb moment and used a paper clip to unlock the door. How do they do that? I tried. It doesn't work. <laughs> it, it's difficult. I think you need <laughs> some practice. And number six, you look worried. A penny for your thoughts? So nice, Katarina. Nice, Luca. Let's see. So, yeah, this to daydream. So, mm -hmm. head in the clouds to daydream. How about number two with curiosity killed the cats? Or well, curiosity makes you go to hell, as so I said. I can't go to hell. I can go That's to crazy. hell. That's crazy. Than being killed? Maybe. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, honestly. So Luca says two is C and so does Katarina. Yes, yes. Exactly. So being too curious will end badly. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, you have to have a little bit of a limitation on that. <laughs> Good job, Emanuela, too. To solve so this Katarina. problem? Okay. Three is yes. B. Yeah, very good. So if you want to think everyone has their structures everyone has their boxes sometimes you need to think outside of common ideas yeah. to solve it so good job luca and emanuela too mm -hmm. very good job they're on a roll very good yeah they're, they're doing such a good job four is f indeed emanuela it's good f. job because when you go blank it means you're empty like exactly. You have nothing in your head. Exactly. So if you have a piece of paper with nothing on it, it is a blank piece of paper. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, a lot of students, as well, at the beginning, when they study languages, sometimes it's difficult because they want to speak, but boom, their mind Everything goes blank. Disappears. It's very normal as well. Don't yeah. worry about that. Don't worry you'll become more confident. <laughs> um, five is A. Good job, Luca and Katarina. Exactly. Really good. And, and six. six. Lovely. Course. Both Luca and Katarina got it. Very good job, everyone. Good job. Mm -hmm. e. A penny for your thoughts. Um, we wouldn't necessarily pronounce the A, uh, so we'd just probably just say, you look worried, penny for your thoughts. Yeah. Not a penny, but penny it's for your thoughts. Idiom. Yeah, it's a nice one. So caring. Um, yeah, exactly. It's very, very nice. Um, which one do you use? I usually mm -hmm. use light bulb moment is a nice one. Yeah. It's it's very animated, so it's very much like a cartoon. Yeah. Um, if you say that. I always say I always say like some people like have their head in the clouds. Uh huh. Me. Yeah. <laughs> you have your head in the clouds. Yeah. Like I always lessons. Not not when I teach, but when I am. Not taught. when you teach. <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. I hope. But when not. I'm taught to, it's like oh god. What, what, what <laughs> yeah. Anyway, we have to finish here. Exactly.
we're ending the webinar now. We don't, we're running out of time. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you also um, to the Japanese contingent for coming <laughs> all the way from Japan. Thank you, thank, you, yeah. thank you. If you have any other questions about English, you can go to MyS SOS on Facebook and ask your question, maybe help some other students with some questions that they have. Exactly. Um, but either way, MyS SOS is a fantastic place to ask questions. So thank you, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you, thank Luca, you. Irina, Marina. Arigato, gozaimasta. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Katarina. Thank you, Johnny, my brother. And thank you, Emanuela. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.